Oh, so I went online and got the specs. This is a, uh, I believe a KD 25 or no, 150, sorry. Vacuum pump. It's a uh, rotary vane. Figured out how to fill it. We got a sight glass and right now I'm changing out the oil. Now this oil, I've only done a couple of things with it, but it's very, uh, very yellow, very old. It probably hasn't been changed in good 35, 40 years because I think that was the last time it was used was uh, early 80s, late 70s. Uh, maybe mid to late 80s it was used, but I don't think it was used from 90 on. 1990. This is my father's pump. Um, it's a scientific laboratory pump, which is really cool. I bought a new 27-inch belt, which is uh, a A25 4L270. 27 is the inches. I have the old belt in my collection of extra belts, just in case it was falling apart. And that's what made this black dust all over everything. Like, all that black and those specks. Anyway, I got me some uh, black gold vacuum pump oil, a gallon. It was only, uh, geez, I think 28 bucks. It wasn't bad. I figured I'd get a gallon because I'm going to do a few. I got some uh, Mini Monster Blue Monster Pipe Thread Tape. This stuff's cool. It's good for... Uh, uh, assemblies, natural gas, methane, propane, butane, and petroleum distillates. Pressure is not exceeding 1,500 psi. And I also bought them out of quarter inch by quarter flares. And uh, these are better than the Home Depot ones I was getting. Bit more stout. Definitely gonna have to clean them out, but that will allow me to do some more stuff up here. I do want another valve for this setup, but I might use my set of gauges instead to control foaming and fizzing during uh, evacuations for what's in here is some glow in the dark resin it's kind of glowing now in the light um, but this was just a test to make something so. anyway that's all for now okay so for this next video I want to talk about safety now when dealing with high voltage electricity it's always good to take precautions I have a flame retardant shirt uh, that I usually use for welding I have 1000 volt gloves, which aren't much. They have, these are brand new by the way, I just picked them up. Um, they are rubber liners and cotton. Anyway, what we have here is a brand new acquisition. And I've decided to do a Helix Jacob's Ladder. Now this is a neon sign transformer that puts out approximately, um, we'll go over the nameplate in a minute after we do this. I have no idea if it's going to work. This is going to be the first fire. I've just spent the last 20 minutes messing with a coil trying to get something that looks like it might work. And, uh, safety first. Remember to always wear your gloves. And if you're going to do this, please, please be careful. High voltage is no joke. This will kill you dead fast okay sorry about the mess now I just have some braze uh, bronze filler rod and I have the plug here and sadly this is the best spot I got I am not sure what's gonna happen but it's gonna be cool okay well didn't get the helix. But I did get a funky Jacob's ladder. Well, let's try something a little different, huh? So trying to adjust it didn't really work to my favor. So I'm not really getting the good spinning arc I was dreaming of. Now let's go for a traditional Jacob's Ladder. Okay, I'm back. So don't forget your gloves like I did. Because it will hurt. Three, two, one. Any time now. Oh, that's so 
some good stuff. Now that's just blowing on it. Once the air current comes back, and it can heat up the vertical air. You know you have to blow very hard. Now, something that I'm going to do is put this fire in a vacuum. Soon, not tonight. Because I got work in the morning. And I've been judging Skills USA competitions all day. Hmm. This is probably a bad idea. Right through. Ah, oh dear. Well, I gotta deal with this. Bye.